Hey there, it's Potmos and nice of you to join me as we continue our adventure with our little foundation town. We are building a bakery here because, well, we are growing our first grain and, well, an extra food source won't hurt us, especially not now that it's raining and we are not that much swimming in the berries, but we'll see how well we can do with it. Uh, let's open this up. Yeah, we have no grain yet, no... Uh, flour yet so also no bread yet but what we can do is speed up bread production by making sure that we build a well close to it because then it can get the water it needs for the uh, bread close by luckily it also already has all the resources it's almost done so that should be fine I think not too long from now we could start another bakery here hopefully but we'll have to see first if we get uh, all the preferred amounts of weed out of this two farms. I think we're going to need more farms. All right, the bakery is built. We need two commoners to work in there. Now, unfortunately, we don't have anybody without a job. So we'll just have to wait a bit. What's this? Unable to find a house close enough to my workplace. Yeah, that's because you're a woodcutter. Probably the one all the way up here. And that's not going to find a house close by. It's fine though. I mean, I don't really worry. Yeah, it's Tetsy. Maybe she can find a house soon enough somewhere here. But uh, for now, apparently not. That's okay though. I don't really mind. Oh, that wasn't. That was the wrong button. Maybe, maybe a new house can be constructed here. Who knows? But for now, we'll focus on continuing. All that we need to make a successful village, which is getting new people in, so the bakery can start to do some jobs. We can see that the first weed is coming in, so as soon as the harvest is all in, this windmill should be able to start producing, because this will collect all the weed. Yep, there it goes, so that's good. This will need some water to bake bread, but that should also be fine. Three new villagers, perfect. Let's promote two of them. One and two. Let's put them in the bakery. And we can put one extra in the granary. So yeah. Oh, everybody has a job. And this should help us start producing some bread soon. Oh, that will be interesting. You can see the windmill turning. So it is producing now. Using eight wheat to produce two flour. That's very nice. There it goes. Perfect. First two flour created. This will use three flour and one water to make 12 bread. So that is nice. Housing insufficiency. Yeah, these won't, won't be getting a house soon. Let's check our soldiers and their training status. They're all partly trained now. Some of them already got their strength up one point. This one's still not. So we'll have to wait a bit till we get... Uh, some actual results from the training and send our soldiers out. But for now that is okay. And our village is running quite smoothly. You can see that not all taxes are collected right here. So it might be time for a tax collector in this area soon. But most of them are still collected. So we're not missing that much tax. So that's fine. All right, the well is done. That's good for the baker. We get another house here. That's probably for the people working in the bakery because they need an upgraded house. We should be selling some clothing too to the commoners, so that'll be good. A new tale can be heard. First bakery. All right. A delicious aroma is being carried through the warm winds this morning. Your village first bundle of bread is readied out of the oven. To the village's delight and appetite, we get a happiness bonus from it. They like the smell of nice warm bread <laughs> that's very nice thing is we're not selling bread anywhere so we should probably expand the market a little bit with another food market so that we can actually sell some bread there we go let's build it let's not get into the splendor let's not create more splendor uh, not right now as we need to focus on some of the others too are we selling some bread here already? No. Also, no bread yet. So let's create a food stall here too to actually sell the bread. 
that will also provide two jobs, which is good. But I, I'm just really happy if we can get the bread out in there and make sure that all the bread is used. All right, we don't need these blue areas anymore. At least not right now. So let's get rid of them. Not here near the stone, of course. But right here where the trees are, they should take them out. All the rest can stay. All right, this is good for now. At least now we have a little bit better insight where they actually work and where they don't. How much? We don't have a lot of weed. We have a little bit of flour. So we need to pump up the production of weed soon. We only have 12 bread. I thought we would get more weed out of this. Two newcomers. Great. How many? Yeah, it has no weed. It's just created a little bit of bread, but that's it. Also, the bread should be collected here. We have 24 bread now. So yeah, they did create some extra bread. That's a good thing. We have to really get production going now. And well, the butcher's doing its job. That's nice. Maybe we need some more hunters soon too to get some extra meat out. Ah, the market stalls court is built. So we should be able to start selling some bread soon. Let's select bread and add a worker to it and do the same thing on this side. This will at least help make sure that everybody get the food that they need. So there we go. What to get next? Well, we don't have a tavern yet and I'm not going to build it because we don't need it. We have all of this and the numbers are looking okay. We could use a little bit more stone, but that's okay for now. We have all of this, so no worries there. We have all the clothing. I would like some more clothing though soon. Could start working on another church, but uh, not really. Could also work towards a monastery. There we could get some, uh, some nice stuff too. Common goods, spear production or tools. Question is, do we have discovered any stuff yet in the mountains with prospecting close by? No, we have not discovered anything there. Because then we can actually make good use of buying one of those and start to... We've found quartz here. Yeah, I need iron somewhere to make our own tools. And as long as that's not happening, it's very costly to invest in that and unlock it already. There's no real reason why. So we should probably focus on a few other things first. One of them could be an extra farm, but I think they really need to uh, start extracting the trees here first before we do that. These trees really need to go. We have a lot of sheep now though. We should be getting a lot of wool out. There's plenty of workers here too to collect everything, so that should work out. But apparently the wool is not coming in that fast. Usually it is. Or at least faster. They're all waiting for workers. They have shepherds in them. But the shepherds are probably just doing different jobs. Where's the shepherd? It's happy. So that is not an issue. Now oh, we see a growing number of food. So this should be okay. I think we could do with a monastery soon to start extra berry production. And the monastery can live on its own, the people in the monastery. So they, yeah, they have to visit the market every now and then. But they can also just grow some of their own stuff in the end. But that takes a while before we get there with that monastery. So question is, should we start building the monastery already? We're building the fortress here. We could also build the monastery maybe here then. Could be interesting. It will help remove some of the trees here. If we want to buy a zone, we can only buy this one or this one. And I'm not really tempting, tempted to do that. 
they won't give me the space for the monastery. This one might, but it's also costing me all my money then. Eh, that's not really what I want. We still have a housing shortage and that is not good for our people. What we could try though is build houses all around the market. Yep, I immediately see a house popping up here that they're going to build. And that could make the difference in two houses. These people having a house to stay in and that will make them more happy. So that should be good. Maybe we should use this space for a monastery. I think we should. Let's just go start with it. We need to build a small monastery anyway. Select a function. We need to build a monk dar dorms. Um, right here. Fountain Sculpture Masterpiece. Your skillful management of a food during bad weather has inspired some of your villagers. And they wish to build a fountain sculpture masterpiece to honor the occasion. Alright. Nice. But we're not going to do that yet. Um, this also needs a door probably. But that could be right beside the road like this. I think we're going to do the monastery a little bit different this time. We're going to do the buildings at the roadside and then we clear this area and build other stuff there. Um, Alright, this is the start. We get the monk dorms, but I immediately want to continue with nun dorms so that we have room for at least 10 monks and nuns. So this should be interesting. There we go. We'll see how far we can get with this, but I think this should be worthwhile. Another thing I would like to see is where all this, because there, yeah, there's stone up here. I would like to get some extra stones because I don't think we produce enough stones at this point. So let's just build one stone cutter camp there. It won't hurt all the other productions here, so we don't have to worry about that. But it will be a big help. Right, let's do it like this and then zoom in. I'm zooming out, that's wrong, and do it like that. So it at least looks a bit neat. Same here. Let's get rid of this and then click it like this. So at least it looks nice. And we can get rid of all the excess zoning, which is also quite a nice thing I like to do. Make sure that all the zoning fits your needs. And it doesn't fit our needs right there. Perfect. That's better. Still very busy with um, removing trees. And I just wish as soon as we get the monastery up, ah, the better days are coming. Behold, bad weather is now a different thing from the past. Things are back to the way they were. Well, hopefully that'll help increase the berry production again. But I also would like to get some berries going with the monastery. So that should be something we can do there. Add some uh, people there that will work on berries. Should be the monastic garden. Now it's very tempting to already place all of those things yet. But I'm just going to wait. We'll let them build this first. We ha only have a small number of stones. So it might take a little bit to get actually everything in there. But when the stone cutter camps in, we already have four people available to start working there. I think we should just prioritize this so it gets done quick. And yeah, we have three soldiers already mostly trained. Strength four. Even if they're fully trained, they remain at strength four. So they are developing and they are getting better and better. The first two tools are coming in. And some wood. And then we can build that one too. Oh, I would very much like that. We can also see that more houses get built. Um, some people still lack comfort. Some also lack entertainment. So getting the tavern up could be interesting too. Probably somewhere in the middle here. So that they can come in from both sides. But uh, oh, I think we should really actually plan that already. Uh, the tavern is in the food area. Isn't it? It's not a good we produce. Sometimes I totally miss it. Military fort, monastery and the manor house. Yeah. Or, oh, here it is. In the logistics, which is interesting. I mean, I don't really see the... Uh... All right, we need a public lounge. 
room for 10 but this is very costly this is pretty cheap I think we should go for this though I mean I want a nice looking tavern let's raise it and give it a nice looking door all right, this should probably already be quite costly. This will just be the surface hole. Then we'll need a... Uh, we need to add some more stuff later on. Now, this is also using up the stones that we have that have to go to the monastery. So, I would like to have this as it is. Now, we can continue and build the surface counter with it. Well, not yet. Yeah, we, we need to build a surface counter too. Uh, question is, which building should we use for that? This one? Now we can do that. Let's raise this one. No, this one will keep a little bit smaller. We'll put in a normal door. This is where they sell the stuff to the people. And we need a berry brewer. The thing is, I don't want to use berries for that because we're quite short on berries. So this should be the first parts of the uh, tavern. Uh, will also give us extra splendor points, so that is good. Maybe we can unlock some extra stuff then. But I'm not going to build them yet. They're just placed here. I want to start building the monastery first. Yeah, we still need a lot of resources there. Although we have most. I mean, we have the tools. We have the polished stone. We have the planks. All we need are the normal stones. Might just take a bit before they get in. And they need to build this one first. And even though the resources are there, they're not very fond of building it quickly, apparently. Is the zoning correct here? No. Yeah, that is. It's This is one big zone, so that's good. That works. Let's check our soldiers. Mostly trained. Fully trained. Two fully trained soldiers. That's great. Ah! We're now building the stone cutter camp. Getting two more villages in will help out so we get uh, more. Yeah, we already have the people now that can work there. Happiness is affected quite badly by taxes and a comfort shortage. But the comfort shortage should be relieved as soon as everybody has a house. And I think a lot of people can now get a house. So that should be better. Waiting for a builder. Yeah, then it's going to take time because they have to assign one first. Then it has to walk there. Then it has to complete it. On the other hand, two builders are bringing resources to the monastery. For every little step, they bring in resources. There we go. A few planks brought in. More stuff should be incoming soon. Farmers are doing their job. We're actually getting growing amounts of bread. One stone. Well, that's not a lot. But we're really out of stones. So we just need this one up. Still waiting for a builder. I thought I prioritized this. But apparently that's not a guarantee that it's going to be built fast. They should take their time. It's okay though. I mean, I'm not unhappy with it. And now Lan Frankus is coming in to hopefully finish this construction. It also depends on how far away he lives. And we can still do a decent job then. Uh, should be okay. Missing raw materials. Yeah, the mail is missing raw materials, of course. That's not a surprise. Still two builders bringing in resources. I Ah, this one is finally building already. That's what I want to see. I was hoping that some of the constructions would actually already have all the resources so that they could start constructing it. All right. Then Frankus is assigned. He's still not there. So he's coming... From somewhere far away, apparently. Or is he now? Oh, there he is. He's busy. Please finish it. Very good. Let's put five workers in there. That's better. Right. I'm not too concerned about the happiness right now. But we need to do keep our eyes on it a little bit. Two builders are bringing resources. Very nice. Not assigning any villagers here yet. Could start to think about the garden though, I hope. Let's go check. We're not we're just not gonna build it yet. Yeah, see? Herbs and berries. Employs an unreached status. Alright, I don't care. 
Um, let's build these behind one of the buildings. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we will also build the herb planters, of course. Uh, I have to turn them around. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that looks nice. We'll just leave them there as they are right now. Um, because otherwise they'll just get busy with building that and not the ones, the, the things that we want. But, um, oh, this looks better now because I think... With this, we can actually boost our berry production, but we can also sell a few herbs here and there. And they can be good for trading too, so that would be interesting. Still bringing in resources. All the planks are there now. I think they should be able to finish one of these parts. Not 100% sure, but I do think they can finish one. And I'm kind of hoping that, of course, so uh, yeah, we'll see. Ooh, just two more tools need to be brought in. Then all the tools are there as well. And all builders should now be focused on this. So that is also interesting because we're not building anything else. So every time a builder goes away and another one is available, it should go there straight. So uh, that should be interesting. Ah. This house is upgraded, so more people can live in there. Hopefully that fixed the uh, problems of the comfort even more. Money-wise, we're doing okay. I like that. Happy with that. Now we just need to get rid of these stones. Well, not get rid of these stones, but mine a lot of stones. So that we can build that monastery. Three fully trained, two mostly trained. Ooh, getting really close to sending out a batch of soldiers. Ooh, and it looks like the first part is built. That's nice. First batch of monks is in. Confirm construction and pay the upfront costs. Yeah, that's probably going to be quite um, expensive, but we'll see. Let them finish this first. Yeah, half of the goods are in there. I like it. Thing is with the stones though, if we want to build this, we also need a lot of stone. Problem is we can't see anymore how much they need. So that's interesting. Can't really see how much uh, resources it needs anymore now that we click it after we already uh, put it down. Interesting. Wish we could still see that, but now, ah, well, after the monastery is done, we'll do that. We'll go speed three for a little bit. We can still see the amount of clothing is pretty stable, but not getting any better. I don't like that. I want to get more. But these should be quite productive. You can see a sheep getting shaved every now and then. Yep, producing resources. Only two wool per sheep every time. So that's probably why it takes so long. And maybe they nerfed that a little bit since one of the later little patches or something like that. That can happen too. So you're never sure. There comes a trader. That's nice. Ah, they're building the front door now for the uh, monk area. As soon as that is done, we should be uh, halfway in. Somebody's bringing four more stones. All right. Next up could also be finding more berry bushes. We have these. The monk dorms are ready. That's good. We have these and we have these. So we have three batches of those berries. Uh, there's more there, there's more there, but they're outside my territory, of course. There's also berries there, but they're quite far away. There's no more berries on this side. So, yeah, it's quite interesting, but if we really want to get going with some berries, we just have a problem with this map. 
Which is interesting because on the stream map that I did, we had plenty of space for... Uh, we had plenty of berries and stuff like that. It just appears that this map is a bit scarce on it, even though we did not change anything about the amount that we should have. All right, I'm going to start building the garden because I think it uses some different resources than the stones. Yeah, a lot of wood and some tools. So even though they're awaiting the stones, I think more and more builders can now start to uh, put their building skills to use on the garden. And I like that. So I really want the garden to be... Uh, to be built quickly now. Housing insufficiency. Yeah, that's all good. Um, I think we can also devote a few monks already. Although they don't have anything to do yet. So why bother with it? Ah, these, this guy is doing a good job in his... Uh, British Lumberjack skills. Really making sure that we get uh, rid of the trees. You can also see that right here. It worked out. All the trees are gone. So uh, that works. That really works. How are we doing with the hunting? Oh, plenty of boar here. So no issues. I have to say my uh, lumberjacks are doing a very good job. Of clearing out a few areas. Not all of them, but a few are very, uh, very well cleared. They should do a little bit better job here, but there's no um, woodcutter there, so that's probably why they're not doing the best job. Alright, let's put in a few monks. Let's start with three. Steward of the bishop is approaching our village. Alright, we'll welcome him with open arms. We have two berry gatherers now, and we have two foragers, so we should be getting extra berries in. A new tale can be heard. An aura of serenity settles in as our first villagers recite their religious vow and convert to a life of ascetic piety. Your people have been blessed with a monastery. May it bring faith and wealth. All right. And a happiness bonus. Yay. I like that. What's this? The bishop appreciates seeing a new settlement dedicated itself to the monastic fate. He wants to help you, his new vassal, and appoint his steward to make sure you have everything you need. What do you plan next? Magnificent monastery. I want to be influential among the clergy. Or I want to earn wealth through trade. Um, well, this one is nice, but we can't unlock anything with it. So we don't really need it because we're not having the splendor. We don't really need the coins. And we could use these resources. So this time I'm going to build, going to get the resources. Uh, because that's the only thing that we can actually use right now. So that's the better option. Alright. We have seven more stones in store. A lot of builders are bringing resources. Uh, so that's good. <clears throat> but um, yeah. We still need 19 more pieces of stone. We have a few in store now. So hopefully... We'll get to finish the monastery soon. This is nice. Let's take another look at our soldiers. They're all fully trained. Is there a mission that we can do of easy difficulty? Yeah, train Northbury. Uh, that's very easy. That's good. We can get gold coins, tools, spears and swords from it. So yeah, let's prepare our troops. We will send them all out. We have an extreme mission success chance, which is great. Because we want to have success. So that's the right thing to do. And now our people are going out there again, making sure that they uh, do a good job. All right, let's expand this a little bit. See if we can fit in one or two more houses right there. Um, because I think once they do, that might solve the last few pieces of housing shortage that we have. Um, we could try and find out who actually are the people. Yeah, those are the foragers, which probably... You the workplace. Yeah. All three are working in here. So. Um, these ones do have a house. These ones don't have a house. So apparently it makes a difference where they are actually located. Could well be that if they just start to build a house here. Everything is solved. But it could also help if we do this. This might just make the little difference that we need. So that they can build their own house in this little area and then uh, get to work 
and have a house. It's good that we now know that we have only three people that are unhappy because they don't have a house yet. All the others are happy and have no issues. And apparently the issue with them already moved away as well. So I'm not sure. Could well be that they moved in one of the houses here. And they still had the bad stuff over them, although it was already leaving. Ah, there it comes. There comes a nice house. Who will live there? Fulkwald and Metfried. Are there people that live in here? Yeah, at least two of them. So that works. So yeah, this will solve their issues. Uh, I think we can get two more males in the monastery. No, we can't because we're out of males. Um, the interesting thing is, I would like to get this part done so we can devote a few ladies to the monastery too. That will keep everybody happy because they have a job, they're employed. And we can get the berries out. We're already producing berries though, so I like that. A courier requests an audience. There we go. A providential trade route. The abbess of a nearby monastery heard of your profitable trade route to Northbury. She believes both your monasteries and hers would benefit from trading with each other and would like you to know if there's anything you need. Uh, Northbury will pay for a few casks of wine. The abbot will gift you a few casks of wine to trade with Northbury. Oh, we don't need the wine. A trade bonus when buying tools. I like that. Materials. Uh, we're buying quite a bit of tools, so we'll do the trade bonus for the tools. That's to our benefit. I like that. We have to check our trade routes, by the way. Did we unlock all of them that we can? No, we did not unlock the one with Devonport. So let's unlock that. Uh, we can sell beer to them. Maybe some uh, wax or stuff like that. We'll just have to get it first. But uh, this could open up some nice money-making options with trade. So that's good. But for now... We have come quite far and this is going to be it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave all your comments in the comment section. I will respond to them. And then of course I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.